What's up, everybody? Coach Tom here. I'm with my main man, Coda, right now. It's a little rainy here in Central Florida, but we are excited to bring you our first live training here at Stoke Metabolic Coaching. My goal with these trainings is to give you quick, actionable things you can put into your everyday life. Some of them may seem simple, especially on today's. We're going to talk about five simple habits to improve your overall health. It might seem simple to you. It might be things you already do, things you think that you're doing pretty good at, but we could probably be doing a little better. And when I do initial consultations, one of the most amazing things to me is that these things are often skipped. They're, these are things that are so simple to do, yet so many people overlook them and they don't make time for them and they don't prioritize them. And at the end of the day, it ends up being your health that suffers and we wanna avoid that. And my camera's focused on you, Coda. Uh, there we go, you got me back in the focus. So. I mean, really simple things you can put into your everyday life that are gonna make you not just look better, not just not just lose weight, but they're gonna make you feel better. They're gonna make your day a, a little bit better. You'll be more rested. You'll you'll feel good about life, and that's that's my goal with everybody walking through my doors. So number one, I mean, s stupid simple. Prioritize your sleep. I am a miserable, miserable person if I get any less than seven hours of sleep. If we could go six hours and 45 minutes and I am just a nightmare. I highly recommend getting seven to eight quality hours of sleep. I'm not talking restless on it. You had too much wine last night and you're up every three to four hours. You're using the restroom. Get seven to eight hours of quality sleep. And I like to follow three rules within that, that tenant. And the first rule is three hours before bed, no food. Get your calories in before that. Digestion processes are going off overnight and it's just gonna make you a little, you're gonna be bloated in the middle of the night, your hormones are gonna be all firing the wrong way, not how we want them, and it's gonna make it difficult to sleep. Two hours before bed, cut your job off. My boss will be <laughs> very upset if he sees this one, but look, you need to let the brain wind down. We spend almost all day you know, in fight mentality and we need to bring it down a notch and get out of that go 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 so two hours if you can do more god bless you but two hours prior to f trying to fall asleep cut the workout turn off the emails put on do not disturb that little iphone that you've all got is is a magic tool for just blocking out all of that chaos one hour before bed put the screen down we already cut work off Facebook will be there tomorrow. Instagram will be there tomorrow. Likes are gonna happen. You're not gonna miss anything major on the news. I know a lot of people like to fall asleep to television, but a lot of what's on TV is going to wire you and it's gonna get you up at night and it's gonna keep you up at night. And that seven hours of sleep that you think you're getting is not gonna be quality. This eight hours you're getting is not gonna be deep. And we want you deep rested Deep sleep, rested for the next day and ready to attack the world and attack your workouts as the week goes on. So three hours, no food, two hours, no work. One hour before bed, cut the screen off and find somebody to hold you accountable with that. Whether it's your wife or your pup, take your pup on an hour walk before bedtime. Let the body relax. Number two, stay hydrated. I say this as my water bottle is in the other room and I've been going for three and a half minutes and I'm already parched. So... You gotta stay hydrated. The amount of people out there that don't drink any water throughout the day is mind blowing. I drink about a cup or two, maybe a soda. Water is water's water's key. We want to start by aiming to have eight eight ounce glasses a day. For me, I know if I wake up the next day after eight eight ounce glasses, I do not feel hydrated. I feel you know little little dry mouth. That's no fun. So once you get on a consistent eight glasses of eight ounces a day. Try to up it to a half gallon. Slowly increase to a gallon. Well, half gallon would be that eight ounces. But try to up it to a gallon after that. I, as a gym rat, have been known to carry around a large gallon of water. And people look at you funny, but it's okay if it keeps you hydrated. Water is responsible for many metabolic processes, flushing out toxins and all that good stuff. And your body is made up of how much water? 70%, 80% water? I should probably know that, but you need the water to stay hydrated. Number three, take the long way home, y'all. 
And what I mean by that is park your car far in the parking lot. Park so you have to walk. We spend so much time sitting in our lives these days, sitting behind a desk, posture going bad, not burning any calories. Take the furthest parking spot at Publix if you're one of my Florida people. Take the furthest parking spot at Target and walk. You got a grocery cart, it's gonna roll all the way out there. It's gonna help you get your stuff to the car. Get those steps in. If you have an Apple Watch, I mean, this bad boy tells you how many steps you take a day and shoot for a minimum of 10,000. It seems like a lot, but getting up every hour, getting moving and staying on your feet is gonna keep your body healthy. It's gonna help you reset that posture, sit tall, be nice and proud. It's gonna just get you, give you a break from the work. And there's been so many studies that show that taking a break from the day to day, taking a break from the computer during an eight hour office day is, it helps productivity. You need to let your mind rest. And the best way to do that is by giving your body a little work, getting some motion. In. If we were to look at my Apple watch right now, let's see, one of the best things about my job is I am on my feet almost all day. Today, ooh, I'm only at 8,915 steps. That is A-OK -okay because this bad boy is, this puppy, even though he looks like he's ready for a nap, he's ready to go get some steps in. So I think once mama gets home from her workout, we are gonna go get a long walk in together. I'll definitely break 10,000 today, but on average, I'm usually at 15,000 to 20,000 daily. I'm not saying you need to do that, but if you're taking 1,000 steps, get it up to 2,000. If you're taking 2,000, get it up to three, work your way up to that 10,000 mark. Number four, go look in your refrigerator. Tell me what's in there. If there's just junk in there, it, it, it's time to, to work on the grocery list. Let's be honest with ourselves. If you're trying to get healthy and you're trying to get fit, it starts in the kitchen. Eat real food. Prioritize high proteins, vegetables, fruits, real things. Things that grow, things you can hunt. My wife's gonna hate that I said that, but things you can hunt, things that grow in the ground, stuff that nature has provided for us. Not stuff that has been processed, is loaded with chemicals, is going to cause you to bloat, and it's gonna cause you to feel like crap, and it's gonna give you a little sugar high for 10 minutes. God knows I love my Pop-Tarts before I work out. It's gonna give you a little sugar high, but then the crash hits. And the crash hits, and no one wants to hit the crash. The last one I'm gonna give you today is to start lifting. More lean muscle on your body is going to increase your metabolism. It's also going to decrease your body fat. And when you have more muscle, what happens, Coda? You feel awesome, right? Daddy feels awesome. I get my workout in every day. You do not need to be in the gym for two, three, four hours. I cannot emphasize this enough. I know people and I was that person who spent four hours in the gym for many years and you miss out on a lot of life like that. I do give myself one hour every single day. Maybe I throw a rest day in here or there once a week, once every two weeks. You know, I listen to my body, but I try to lift heavy weights. And I'm not talking about going in and doing cardio. We're talking about building lean muscle. No, you are not gonna get jacked. No, you are not gonna get jacked. No, you are not gonna get jacked. I can say it again if you want, but unless you are at a calorie surplus, you will not leave the gym looking like me. You could try, but it's not gonna happen. You need to lift heavy weights and have a calorie surplus if you're gonna try to live remotely like me. For most people, that's not gonna happen. What's gonna happen is you are gonna build lean muscle, you are gonna increase your metabolism, and you are going to lose body fat. It's as simple as that. And that is the majority of people I talk to, that is their goal, to decrease their body fat and feel a little better at the end of the day. So recap, prioritize your sleep, stay hydrated, take the long way home, get those walks in, eat real food, start lifting. It's as simple as that. These are things you can do every single day in an hour or less, and they're gonna make you feel better, they're gonna make you perform better, and they're gonna help you lose weight. Tell me what you wanna see on the next live training. I got another one coming your way. We're gonna be doing these almost every single week. Going forward, if you have somebody you think would benefit from this, share it with them. I love the shares, I love the likes. I'm gonna be sharing a recap of this tomorrow. So I'll put it all on paper, that way you have a reference and you can see it. But cheers to living your best life, y'all.